Good morning, kids! Welcome to another day of our class. I am Teacher Frel, your teacher in Math 2, Quarter 4, Week 3. Our topic for today is about measuring objects using appropriate measuring tools and unit of length in meter and centimeter. Kids, are you ready to listen? Let's get started! Objective Measures objects using appropriate measuring tools and unit of length in meter or centimeter. Estimates and measures length using meter or centimeter. In our previous lesson, we learned about measuring length using meter and centimeter. Meter are the units used to measure longer lengths. Centimeter are the units used to measure shorter lengths. 100 centimeter is equivalent to 1 meter. Or, 100 centimeter equals 1 meter. The appropriate tools in measuring centimeter are the following. Ruler, tape measures. And the appropriate tools in using meter are the following. Meter stick and tape measures. You can see in the illustration below that 100 cm length of a ruler is equal to 1 meter length. Let's compare the two objects below. Notebook and blackboard. A notebook has shorter length, so the appropriate tools in measuring a notebook is a ruler. A notebook is measured in centimeter. The measure of a notebook is 200 centimeter. 200 centimeter is equivalent to 2 meter. The appropriate tools in measuring a blackboard is meter stick. It is measured in meter. The length of this blackboard is 20 meter. There are 2,000 centimeter in 20 meter. Let's compare the two animals below, a cat and a giraffe. A cat has shorter length, so it measures in centimeter. A giraffe has longer length, so it measures in meter. Now, let's do this activity. What is the appropriate measure of the following? Let's put those objects that measures in centimeter and put those objects that measures in meter. Are you ready? First picture. How do we measure a mobile phone? It is in centimeter or in meter? Correct! It measures in centimeter. Second picture. How do we measure a building? It is in centimeter or in meter? Correct! It is in meter. Next picture. How do we measure an alarm clock? Is it in centimeter or in meter? Correct! It measures in centimeter. Next picture. Cabinet. How do we measure a cabinet? Is it in centimeter or in meter? Correct! It measures in meter. Next picture, tree. How do we measure a tree? Is it in centimeter or in meter? Correct! It measures in meter. Next picture, slippers. How do we measure a slippers? Is it in centimeter or in meter? Correct! It measures in centimeter. What about a box of juice? How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or in meter? Correct! It measures in centimeter. As you can see, the objects in centimeter has shorter lengths, and the objects in meter has longer lengths. So kids, very good! 
Next activity. Identify the units appropriate to measure the following. Right centimeter or meter. Number one, bus. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in meter because it has longer length. Number two, mug. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It is measured in centimeter because it has shorter length. Number three, scissor. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in centimeter because it has shorter length. Number four, pillow. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in centimeter. Number five, swimming pool. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in meter. Number six, a tower. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in meter because it has longer length. Number seven, a bottled water. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in centimeter because it has shorter length. Number eight, a pine tree. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in meter because it has longer length. Number nine, an airplane. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in meter because it has longer length. And number 10, a pencil case. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in centimeter because it has shorter length. Another activity. Write the units appropriate to measure the following. Write centimeter or meter. Number one, comb. Is it in centimeter or in meter? Correct. It measures in centimeter because it has shorter length. Number two, bond paper. How do we measure this? Is it in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in centimeter because it has shorter length. Number three, length of your room. Is it measures in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in meter because it has longer length. Number four, length of your stairs. Is it measures in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in meter because it has longer length. Number five, spoon. How do we measure this? Is it measured in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in centimeter because it has shorter length. Number six, dining table. How do we measure this? Is it measured in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in meter because it has longer length. Number seven, book. Is it measured in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in centimeter because it has shorter length. Number eight, street light. How do we measure this? Is it measures in centimeter or meter? Correct. It measures in meter because it has longer length. 
Number 9. Christmas light. How do we measure this? Is it measured in centimeter or meter? Correct! It measures in meter because it has longer length. And lastly, number 10, bread knife. How do we measure this? Is it measures in centimeter or meter? Correct! It measures in centimeter because it has shorter length. Remember, meter are the units used to measure longer lengths, while centimeter are the units used to measure shorter lengths. 100 centimeter is equivalent to 1 meter, or 100 cm is equivalent to 1 m. Kids, did you learn a lot from this topic? Very good! So again, the lesson that we have learned today is about measuring objects using appropriate measuring tools and unit of length in meter and centimeter. Kids, I hope you learned a lot from our lesson. Until our next topic, bye-bye kids!